guys welcome back to my channel my name is Abigail and we're talking about some more plants today so today we're just going to do a little bit of a chit chat and repot um, I'm not repotting in hydro semi hydro which is kind of rare for me but I have these are like two larger plants that I have and I don't feel comfortable transitioning them because they're so big so I have this fiddly fig over here that I got as a plant rescue and it seems to be doing okay it's just like very very rebound I think and I have this pot for it which I went ahead and drilled drainage holes in um, and then I have this beautiful ficus audrey that is yellowing a little bit because I waited too long to water it and yeah I was just really nervous to water it at first because it was soaking wet in the nursery pot, so we'll see how it goes. So we're gonna start with the fiddly fig, and I'm repotting these in the same mixture um, just to keep it consistent, but this is the regular Miracle Grow potting mix with a bag of perlite mixed in. So it's it's two bags of like the eight quart bags um, and then a bag of perlite mixed in. Um, so it's, it's kind of gritty. Um, because I don't do soil that much anymore, I'd rather have my soil be well draining than be too wet so oh and i also have these this is like um landscaping cloth like weed barrier um to put in the bottom of my pots so that way the drain or like the soil doesn't completely fall through but i just kind of wanted to talk about like i'm putting this down so i don't make an extreme mess on my floor but i just kind of wanted to talk about like why i'm starting this whole like planty YouTube journey thing. Um, so I got into house plants. So like it's not super root bound, but it's like not happy. Okay. So I kind of initially got into house plants at the beginning of 2019 after um, my cat passed away unexpectedly and very tragically. Um, so it was definitely kind of my coping mechanism. Um, I'd been into plants for a while. I lived, I was an RA in college, so I lived in a dorm room for two, well, three years, including my freshman year. And I don't know, I just always had like cacti and succulents and stuff like that. Um, but I never like ventured into house plants, I guess, because I didn't really have room for them um, or space for them or anything like that. Um, but yeah, okay, this is pretty pretty root bound. I'm just going to like mess up the roots just a tad, um, just to try and break them up. Yeah. So I started getting the house plants the beginning of last year and it just makes me so happy. Like I love having greenery in my space. I love that it like makes, makes any room that I put them in that much more inviting. And it's just something for me to do offline. Um, because a lot of my work revolves around the internet. Um, a lot of my hobbies do as well so like this YouTube channel um, my blog you know being on Instagram my job is a um, web developer and social media manager I also run my own business with that so I'm just on my computer a lot and I don't I never really have time to like not be on the computer and so I don't know it's just my opportunity to, to kind of get out and enjoy nature um, yeah, I'm just roughing up the surface a little bit and just kind of doing that. But it seems to fit really well in this pot. I think it'll be super happy. Um, so, yeah, I'm also going to put a little bit more extended release fertilizer in this um, just to help it out that much more. That's basically kind of how I got into houseplants. And then, I don't know, I just find so much joy in fiddling with them and then like going to a new nursery whenever I go to like a new city or something like it's so much fun and the planty community is just so supportive and awesome and I'm so excited to be a part of it now. So I initially started my blog back in 2015 um, as a college lifestyle blog and then it turned into like a college fitness blog about a year and a half later because Fitness is another big passion of mine. Um, I work out 
three to six days a week sometimes depending on what I have going on but like it's really important to me to be involved in the fitness community and I originally wanted to you know pursue being a part of the fitness community and you know the typical Instagram or like influencer kind of way but I just I don't know that whole community just seems so very fake to me and it's all about appearances and it's all about how you look blah 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 and I was just like that's a lot of work and a lot of upkeep and I think it can be very emotionally draining as well um so I kind of fell off track a bit with that and I'm kind of glad I did um, I still keep up with fitness and that's a part of my blog, but it's not like everything I do now um, because for a long time like fitness was my life um, and that's like all I did but now like I have a business and I have a boyfriend and I have two cats and like my life revolves a little bit more around stuff that that actually matters. <laughs> I just recently released a blog post um, I think a few weeks ago in January about kind of the direction that I want my blog to take and I'm wanting it to be more personal um, more just like my kind of my life journey and what I'm going through and stuff because that's truly like the real relatable content I found and it's so much easier to write it's so much easier to not be caught up in like oh well what my readers like um, what I'm posting this week or like blah 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 and I don't know, you know, it just, sometimes it's a lot. So I'm trying to incorporate plants a little more um, on the blog, um, but I also kind of wanted to separate it a little bit because I know a lot of my followers probably aren't interested in plants, but who cares, because I am, and it's my blog, and it's my corner of the internet. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you also like don't know a lot about me, um, I run a college, well, not a college lifestyle blog anymore, a lifestyle blog called Living the Gray Life, and then this is Living the Planty Life, is what I have deemed this little corner of my creative endeavors. It's just, it's fun. I'm having a lot of fun trying to create content for both aspects. So I think this is all potted up. I, yeah, I mixed in some slow release fertilizer into the top portions of the soil, um, and this was potted in like a very, interesting mix so hopefully it'll be a little happier um yeah so there's that one it already looks better so oh god that's heavy i kind of want to talk also a little bit about i was trying to water this one earlier today that's why it looks like this on the bottom um this is the pot okay you can't see anything i'm doing because <laughs> i'm behind a pot this is the pot that i'm putting um this one in. I think it's so pretty and it contrasts really well to, to the leaves on the Audrey. Um, again, I'm just going to put in the little thing on the bottom. Uh, but yeah, so I'm really excited for this. There are literally no, oh my god. No wonder it wasn't being watered. <laughs> There's no drainage on the bottom of this pot. It's only like, that's actually a nice pot for semi-hydro. <laughs> but yeah, and oh yeah, this Audrey is kind of rebound, <laughs> just slightly. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited to be a part of the um, planty community now. I love, let's see. I guess I should talk about some of like my favorite planty YouTubers, right? Becca De La Plants, of course. I'm working with her on a very exciting project for her channel, so we're very excited about that. I'm just kind of like roughing it up a little bit. I don't do soil plants anymore. And there's no way that this would transition to semi-hydro based on the size of the root system. Um, but yeah. Let's see. I think I just love like all of the classic people. You know, you got Harley G, you got Becca De La Plants, you've got Not Dude, My Clean Leaves, Plantarina, um, Kaylee Ellen, Nick, P 
Kaliji Pai. I have no idea how to say his name. He only says his first name in some videos, so I have no idea. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I should tell you like my age and stuff. So um, I'm a 22. Um, I'm originally from Knoxville, Tennessee, but I moved to Columbia, South Carolina for college. And my boyfriend lives here. He doesn't want to leave. And since I work from home, you know, he kind of determines where we go. <laughs> so I think we'll be here for another few years at least. But yeah, I graduated from the University of South Carolina in um, computer information systems, which is essentially computer science without the math or like all of the math, I took some math, um, and then a business minor. So I'm pretty well versed in like computer thingies and some business, so I'm excited to see kind of where that goes. I'm currently starting, well, I run my own business. I'm doing web development, social media management, and I've got some pretty awesome opportunities in the works with other like businesses and stuff around here. Um, so like potential, longer term employment options or like partnerships and stuff like that so i'm excited sometimes i get a little stressed out because it's not like the traditional go to college get a good degree graduate and then you'll have a job like that's not how it works and it was kind of eye-opening you know when i've been told you know for years oh you're gonna get a job right out of college you know you're gonna get this stem degree and you're gonna be fine no it's not it's not exactly how it works so I'm gonna go ahead and water these in pretty deep, um, especially this Audrey, because it seems to need it. Um, and hopefully we can fix some of that yellowing and it'll, it'll grow some new stuff because I don't want it to like lose any more leaves. <laughs> and this poor fiddle leaf, yeah. That was kind of like a rambling of a video, but I hope you liked it. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos, hopefully like this. I've got some bunch of semi hydro videos in the works that I'm excited to do but I hope this like helps you get to know me a little bit more and I'm excited to take you along on my plant journey um I'm sure I'll kill a lot of plants with you I'm sure a lot of plants will thrive but yeah um so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for your support um especially to like my blog readers who have now transitioned to like being YouTube subscribers or following me on my planty Instagram. Like, thank you guys. It means the world. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in another planty video very, very soon.